Hey everybody, it's Allison, Prep Dish founder. Today I'm about 20 weeks pregnant and I thought I would discuss some lessons that I've learned so far this pregnancy. Um, they are all related to one lesson and that is slowing down. So um, <laughs> for any of you mamas out there who've been pregnant, um, depending on the type of pregnancy you, you've had, I'm sure you can relate in some ways to, to some of these lessons that I'm about to share. So, um, and I will say that this is more kind of second trimester learnings. My first trimester learning was basically that I could stop my life altogether and just sit in bed and be sick. I do have another video on morning sickness that I'll, I'll link at the end, but um, yeah, this is mainly second trimester because first trimester or up until like 16 weeks, I was doing nothing. <laughs> um, so the first one is to really take mornings slow. So I have always been a morning person. The mornings are my most productive time of day. I love getting up early, jumping out of bed, having my whole morning routine. And something I've had to learn is that even though I'm past the worst of the morning sickness, mornings are still a little um, rough for me and very slow. So I have to sit in bed, I have to eat my breakfast in bed, and then afterwards just take a little time before I even get up. Um, otherwise I, you know, kind of start gagging and, and all of that. So um, gone are the days for now of me just jumping out of bed and being productive. Um, but you know, I've, I've learned to go with it and I have a podcast that I'll listen to sometimes or I just sit there and try and relax and realize that even if I'm not being super productive during that first hour, all will be okay. So um, yeah, that, that, that's my first lesson. My second lesson, and this is kind of more of a work productivity lesson, is um, one thing I'm a big fan of is at the beginning of the day or sometimes the end of the day before, I'll write out kind of my top three must do's for the day and really prioritize what needs to get done. Um, but during pregnancy, I've realized Sometimes that's realistic, but there's days where I write out my top three, but I always like to have my top one thing in mind um, because sometimes realistically, this is what gets done. And I'm not referring to smaller tasks, it's more like bigger kind of um, work projects and things like that. But um, I found like having a top three list with a number one absolutely must do item. Um, and again, sometimes like, you know, today we shoot YouTube videos, that's not a small task, um, but just being realistic that sometimes all three of those items may not um, get done that day and figuring out what is really the most important thing to accomplish that day. Number three is um, naps are okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, I've been, I've never not liked naps. I've just never been a napper, but, um, one thing with this pregnancy is I really have had to allow my body to rest. Rest. I don't really have a choice. Um, luckily, I'm not sleeping. I'm sleeping about a normal number of hours at night, although I do find it's about nine. And then um, there are days where I still have to take um, a little midday break. Um, I do have a toddler, so sometimes I'll just, you know, whenever he goes down for his afternoon nap, I will do um, kind of a 30 minute snooze and it just really helps um, the rest of the day go better. Um, so just, um, you know, allowing myself to have this little break and realizing that by doing this, like I said, the rest of the day goes a little better and it just, I don't know, it's like listening to my body. I think that's been probably the biggest takeaways. I really just have to listen to my body and, and go with that first and foremost. And then um, the fourth thing, and I've talked about this um, also with just um, having a new baby. This is something that's um, really been a lesson for me and um, something that pays back big. And that's um, just, you know, being okay with asking for help, um, delegating, allowing other people to support you. So um, during this time, my husband has really had to step up um, or he has done it without, you know, even complaining or anything like that, but had to step up both with, um, you know, childcare because in the mornings he takes care because I can't get up and jump out of bed. Um, he will help um, get, get Ivan fed and, um, you know, just really kind of take over a lot of the household duties um, when I do have to take it a little more slow. And so just figuring out what are those pieces that, you know, maybe I'm not able to 
um, handle, which honestly is kind of hard to admit sometimes, especially kitchen stuff and cooking. I've talked about this a lot with the new baby too. That's always kind of been my role and something I'm really proud of, but um, also knowing that, you know, sometimes it's okay to, to ask for help and figuring out systems for doing that has been really helpful so that I'm not taking it all on and I am allowing my body to do the most important task, which is, you know, growing this little baby and that is, um, not something to be um, taken for granted. Like that is a very important role in the number. That really is the number one thing on my list every day, going back to those top two tasks. And I, I always do keep that in mind, especially in the first trimester. That was really the only task I was responsible for because all my body could handle at the time. So those are the, the four kind of takeaways that I wanted to share with you. This point in my pregnancy, I also wanna say that I um, you know, my husband and I both do work from home, we're entrepreneurs, so we do have the flexibility. I know um, I feel very blessed by that and, and very grateful for the fact that I, I can, um, for the most part, listen to my body and not have to um, kind of push through and work. And for all you moms and pregnant mamas out there that, that have to, I, um, I see you and I know that, um, man, you're, you're doing great because um, pregnancy and motherhood, it's Man, it's a lot of work, but it, it's, it's certainly worth it. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, did any of these resonate with you? Um, and then if you're looking for more videos, I do have that video linked on um, tips from a new mom, um, as well as um, me time activities for a new mom. So those are both linked here. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, share with a friend and hit that like button so I know to make more videos like this.